Hello, good morning, or I say good morning. It is still morning. Happy Saturday. Okay, so if you catch this live, drop me a one or tell me hey. <clears throat> Let me know where you're peeping in from. If you're new, say I'm new. I love seeing new people watching. And if it's a replay, drop a two. Um, also, if you share it, click share right here. Um, let me know so I can say thank you and we'll get started. Um, hey Doris. Oh, I can actually wave because I'm on my personal page. I meant to touch up my hair, but earlier Brenna was like, are you going to do something with your hair? Hey Shelby. Hey Brianna. Happy Saturday. Hey Ruth. Hey Nikki. Okay. So, hey Kayla, good morning. You can see here, hey Ash, I still sound um, clogged because let's see how this look. I don't have full passage, but I feel like it's getting better. They've put me on steroids. I still have lots of pain, but not debilitating. And my body is still weak from anesthesia. Like, I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or if it's because, I don't know. Hey Susie, hey Trine, hey Sherry, hey Brittany, hey Daisha, hey Karen, thank you for sharing. Don't forget to tell me if you shared. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Um, I'm actually like wearing jewelry. I never wear necklaces and I, I think it's because I'm weird about things around my neck, but this is really dainty and light and I felt like this needed a necklace because it was just like, solid but it's open back i really like this tank so it's open back it's actually i think it's a workout tank i ordered it from lululemon good morning stephanie hey marlenia hey amanda i love lululemon i don't i don't know if i even pronounce that right i'm like i'm pronouncing it as it's spelled but anyways i think it's a workout tank but i really like it it's open back and it's like longer in the back it's really loose i don't like tight tanks hey christy and I just threw a bandeau on right now because I really didn't want everything just flopping in the wind today. I usually don't care about that, but today. <laughs> but anyways, it, it needed something. So I found this necklace. I don't have a lot of necklaces. I don't wear a lot of necklaces. I used to be a huge necklace girl, but I'm really not. I like big earrings, big arm candy. Hey, Vanessa. Hey, Shelby. Hey, Jackie. Um, anyway, that is what one made me want to write the title of this. Hey, Leanne because all my necklaces are like hung on this thing. But for some reason I needed this one necklace. I have like two silver necklaces. One, I needed this one necklace and it was like tangled with all of them. And it just felt like I was dealing with hangers that were like hooked in. Anyways, anybody else get annoyed with hangers or necklaces? <laughs> hey Rachel, hey Beth, hey Amanda, hey Lara. Okay, and then also I'm wearing like mint colored shorts but I like to match my makeup to my face, so you are going to see that. But you're also going to get to see me play, y'all, four new hotties. And I have pretty full lips, so I'm not, I wasn't a huge lip pumper person, but I wore one of them yesterday, and I actually really liked it because it's not an intense um, plumper, like the tingle that some plumpers have where you're like, oh, my lips are on fire. That's not what these bring, but there's five new shades. So there's a clear. Hey, Lance. Okay, but I'm gonna be matching my makeup to that. But y'all, I also match my perfume. So I wore the purple perfume in Passionately Yours today and Brandon even asked me, he was like, are you wearing a new perfume? I'm like, well, I mean, I've worn it a few times. I change it up a lot and I smell, my smell. Um, <clears throat> over the last few months, cause it's brand new. I mean, it came out in April, but, so I've worn it a few times. But I'm gonna show you a couple of my favorite cream shadows. Because you can get a cream shadow and a lip plumper and an epic mascara for like 25% off right now. So, and I love cream shadows. Y'all know that. And you're going to get to see one of my personal favorites. Oh, well, that's one of my favorites. So maybe you're going to get to see three. Did I bring it? Oh, yeah. We're going to watch and or see Unfazed. So this is like a mauve color. It's not super purple, but I felt like it went well with this lavender-ish. Hey, Haley. You don't have the wave feature anymore? Hey, Sheila, does that go away? Hey, Christy. Hey, Amy, are you still with Ash? If so, tell her hi. Ever since having Addison, I can't wear them long. Oh, necklaces, maybe that's what it is. Hey, Tanya. I know, Shay, I can't wave to you, but just, you can drop the wave hand. Just wave to me. Hey, Valerie. Hey, Jamie. Okay, 
Let me get my makeup out of this magic makeup bag. Who owns a bag like this? Anybody? I know Chanel has one for like $5,000, but I'm sorry. It's not. I'm not. I would not spend money on that. I'd rather like a thousand five dollar bags than five thousand one five thousand dollar bag. Anybody else feel me? Okay. So I know I look dead. Let me go ahead and start and we're going to play, but you're going to want to stick around because I'm going to wear, I'm only going to wear one today, clearly, because I only have one set of lips. I'm going to wear, yesterday I wore Renee Rochelle, which is like a pink sparkly, but I'm going to show them all. And then tomorrow you'll have to get in my beauty blog, um, Mal's Makeup VIP page. Um, I'm going to actually show them all off on the lips. So if you're not in there, you need to get in there, drop a me or I want in. Tell me, say I want in because sometimes I don't remember what me means. <laughs> and um, no presenters, please. Just my VIPs. Okay, well, I put a little bit of primer on. Let me let that sit. Hey, Casey. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Keisha. Happy Saturday. So we're getting out today. I'm going to, hey, Sarah. Hey, Claire. Um, hopefully not be too weak till we need to get, Corbin some new tennis shoes. I swear he goes through tennis shoes like every six months. But, okay, let me put my liner on so I don't keep scaring y'all. I love this liner, you can tell. Hey, Janie. Hey, Miss Judy. Um, but we're going to do that. And then I've been wanting Smoothie King. So I wanted Smoothie King on 4th of July. They were closed, which good for them for being closed on a holiday. But you know, I've been like living off of nothing because I can't breathe. And then I really wanted Smoothie King the other day, but I chose Starbucks at Target. And so it was like 9.30 in the morning and I was like, I'm not gonna get Smoothie King right now, I just ate. So I told Brandon, I want Smoothie King today. And hey Britt, hey Steph, hey Cheryl, good morning. There's a lot to get on this morning. Hey Miss Cindy. I love it when y'all jump on with me and hang out. So I feel like my hair, you can't see it. Can y'all see the purple kind of? It's like fading, growing out, whatever. I have like major roots going on. But um, I feel like it matches this now that it faded. <laughs> so I just all kind of matchy matchy today. <laughs> all right, so this primer, I let it sit for a few minutes just so it can really soak in and do its job by keeping my makeup on top of my skin instead of in my pores. And I will be real with y'all, I tried to keep up with my skincare as best as possible while I was down for the week, um, or at least the first few days, but I will say, I don't know what they did to my nose, but it had a really rough feeling. So Wednesday night, I was able to actually exfoliate and detox and everything's back smooth, <laughs> thank God. I was like freaking out because I am a stickler for my skin. Like I am a stickler for skincare. Like if you don't take care of your skin, you're basically like just not even living the right life. Okay, so I'm gonna use y'all my fam famous brush. Look, bye bye fat. Ooh, shake that fat while you shake it up. Okay, um, and then squish the dropper. When your foundation is a dropper, it can separate in the dropper too. And thank you. This is what this is just a mal bun I threw up. I actually threw it up, and I was thinking I was gonna have to redo it because when I got dressed, but my brain had made me straighten my hair a little bit because it was really frizzy. I didn't do anything to it yesterday, so I just kind of straightened it a little bit and. I'm very known for the Malbun. If anybody that knows me knows the Malbun is signature, I'm quite certain named after me. Some people call it mom buns, but I've been rocking the mom bun since I was about ever had hair and I was long before I was a mom. Okay, so let me put this on. I'm still in my winter shade, same shade I've been in for a few years because apparently I'll never get sun again in my life. <sighs> That's okay. I guess that keeps our skin young, right? A little bit of vitamin D though on your skin is actually pretty good for it, a day, like 10 minutes. But I love the way this one applies with this brush. And yes, I go over my lips because I really want to nude them out. It's a very soft brush, so I can take it around my nose now, right now without it feeling crazy. I just push it in right here. I have a dark spot right over there. I try to cover from when I was pregnant, I got it. I have a birthmark right there. We're gonna just kind of cover that. I don't really care about spots. Spots and um, scars, things that come with stories, don't really bother me, except for this mole. One time I, one time, when I was pregnant, I grew a mole right here or on this other side somewhere, and it was a raised mole. I'm not judging on raised moles, but I don't do raised moles. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Andrea. Um, I don't, 
I just don't do moles. I can't, I get them cut off me. I get my moles checked every year. That was something I promised myself a few years ago that I would start doing because I worked at a tanning salon. You know, look at that foundation. Doesn't it just make you want to like rub my face, but don't touch it. Don't touch your face. Hey Kimberly, hey Misty. So I went to the doctor and I asked her to cut it off when she was checking me and she's like, no, it's fine, it'll leave a scar, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I don't really care. She's like, no, we're gonna leave it alone. Well, the next year I went and I was like, look, I don't care about the scar. I ended up paying like $95 to have it removed <laughs> because it didn't need to be removed, I guess. It didn't look bad, I don't know. But I was like, get it off. If I can see it, if I can feel it, if it catches on things, get it off. That is one thing I do not boast about is skin tags and moles from pregnancy. Scars all day. I don't care. Scars do not bother me at all. Hey, Kira Lee. Congrats on the baby girl, Kristen. Hey, Jamie. Anyways, okay, so I'm going to let that sit. So y'all can see that's about all the coverage I need, all the color I need, so I could set it with setting powder, but I'm a um, powder freak. I like a really, really matte finish, so I do use like a press or loose powder, just kind of dust it over there. Same brush. This is the hands down best brush ever. I actually see it advertised when I'm at the gym. They have like all these different channels, but you see how it really mattifies it? This is the shade Poplin. Just sits right on top of there and it gives you life. And honestly, y'all, I'm gonna tell you right now, I tell everyone this because some people like the feeling of makeup on their skin. I do not. I don't like to know that I'm wearing makeup. I actually like to forget I'm wearing makeup because if I can feel it, it will annoy me and I will take it off just like a necklace. <laughs> if I can feel the necklace, it annoys me and I can only wear it for a few hours. So, just like that face is done, simple, sweet, easy peasy. And yes, I completely nude out my lips because I want my lip color to really show the gen true color. Y'all saw when I first started, my lips are pretty natural pink. So that will change the color, just like it looks different on everybody. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Brett, thanks for sharing. Um, don't forget to tell me if you share, guys, because I want to say thank you. And if I miss it, just I'll come back and say thank you or just keep commenting and tell me. Like, be like, hello, 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 I shared, hello. <laughs> okay, so, and then you can do like a setting powder or finishing powder, or I'm gonna come in with this SPF powder since I really want to go to the pool today. I don't know if it'll happen because I just really want some. I just really want a tan like sometime in my life. But anyways, I love this SPF powder because all you do is just pump it down. It opens the open way and then you just kind of brush it. This is the light shade. There's a medium shade, which I feel like I'm not, I can wear it, but I don't know. I'm feeling really pacey right now, but this is a finishing powder. See, you can see the powder. And then you just rub it in circles. You're really supposed to take powder from the nose out, but y'all, I bend the rules all the time with makeup, and honestly, makeup is an art. You can do whatever you want. But this is SPF, so if you're like me and you don't like sunscreen on your face that's oily, or you don't have to like to keep reapplying random stuff on your face, this powder is awesome, but it's also a finishing powder, so it blurs the vision of fine lines, wrinkles, it sits on top of the skin. It's just pretty amazing, and here's another tip. Hang out with me. You're gonna be. You're gonna drop me some wow faces in a minute. So this powder, <clears throat> okay, comes in like light, medium, dark, and deep. But hold on, it is refillable in the sense of when you're done, you can put like setting powder in there or your other loose powder, and then you have powder on the go. Which I don't ever carry powder on the go for one. I don't want to break it for two. I never have to reapply my makeup, y'all. That's one thing I love is not having to constantly reapply makeup. I don't want to look cakey. I don't want, I just don't like having to carry makeup at all. Hey, Court. Hey, Krista. So I just thought that was pretty cool that you can like refill it with, yes, there's the wow faces. Drop me some wow faces. I love it. Drop me some wow emojis. Drop me a gift. Can you drop gifts while people are alive? I love gifts. I could have conversations and gifts and emojis. Speaking of emojis, okay, let's get started while I'm doing these little eyeballs. So cream shadows, y'all, they come in a set of three on sale. Um, you can get one for like 26 or three for 70, 20, 60 something, I don't know. But look at the colors I'm gonna use today. They match my outfit. Two matte, one shimmer. 
Draw me some hearts, 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 emojis. Give me hearts, yes. Okay, or you can get it on sale with a hottie. I have a bunch of customers that have been snagging like two or three of the kudos because you get a cream shadow and a hottie and an epic. And you can never have a too many backup epics. And that way they're getting all these colors because it's basically like buying two product, getting a product free. So they're buying their, they're gonna buy the cream shadow and the hottie anyway, so why not get a free epic, right? So anyways, plus they get free shipping that way. Okay, I'm all about saving money. All right, so let me start with this one. If you don't own Victoria's Cream Shadow, you need to. It's a great base, great base. Hey, Julie. Hey, Lauren. If somebody can, um, it won't let me type, but if somebody can drop mousemakeup.com in the comments, I'll pin it. I love you forever. Okay, so this is a matte, and a little goes a long way, but you can see I like it. I've kind of hollowed it out, and you're probably wondering why there's pink and purple in there, because I use it on my lips as well for like to set a liquid lipstick or to give me like an ombre look. So that's why there's color in there. But this is a great base color. Um, there's a couple good base colors. There's one called Bittersweet, which is like a more pinky base, but it actually matches my skin tone almost to a T. Um, this one I've seen people wear as like foundation or even under eye concealer. It's kind of funny to me, but awesome. But it's just a great base. It comes, it already has a primer in it. It's very creamy, a little goes a long way. And this cream shadow brush just gets it right where you need to go. I actually got too much, so that's okay. But, um, hey Connie, thank you. Thank you guys for dropping that. Y'all are awesome. Who am I missing? Hey, Loretta. Hey, Karen. Thank you. Okay, so see that perfect base color? Mm. Oh, we were talking about emojis. Okay, so emojis, y'all. I watched Blocked. Anybody seen Blocked? So I don't, wait, the blockers, right? Blocker, blocked. The blocked or the blockers? Not cock blocked. Not cock blocked. Oh. <laughs> oh. The blockers. Okay. Well, the movie was about them trying to block their daughters from a prom night packed. I don't know if there's little kids watching. But anyway, you get the point. <laughs> hey, Aubrey. Speaking of kids jumping on. Um, anyways, so they... The girls were, just one part of the movie is the girls were, you can see it in the preview, so I'm not ruining anything, were talking in emojis. And, yeah, the parents were like, emojis have other things. And anyway, it was really funny. It was a very funny movie. Sometimes you wonder if, like, funny movies, um, like, ruin. Yes, you are, Aubrey, so I'm going to keep this PG. Um, Aubrey's one of my sweet little patients, guys. Um. One, uh, anyway, sometimes funny movies like Ruin by, y'all watched Blockers last night too? Can't watch a funny movie like that the same now that I have two girls. Oh, I know, God, Brandon and I were talking about that too, but we have a boy, so I told Brandon, I was like, like, <laughs> I'm still that protective mama that's like, don't you even. Like the way the boy was texting his mom things, if my son texts me like that, I'm going to die. And be like, look, TMI, I don't want to know. I don't care. I don't care. Like, don't tell me. Okay, so I need this same brush. So, y'all, if you haven't snagged this before it's gone, I'm like truly 100% surprised that this brush cleaner isn't gone because all you do is squirt it one time and then you wipe it on a towel. I'm going to do a paper towel. And it, <clears throat> just don't inhale it. God almighty. Ugh, y'all. This drainage from the surgery. And it just cleans your brush. Look at that. With one squirt, it's all right there. Now I can use it for another color. Hey, Danielle. Otherwise, you need a couple cream shadow brushes for this look. Because now I'm going to bring in my, um, one of my favorite, favorite. Look, so I don't use this one clearly as much as I use the Victorious because the Victorious can be a base for every look. But this is one of my favorites, and you can hardly tell I've even used it. So they last quite a while. Just keep them closed so they don't dry out. A little goes a long way, and I'm gonna use this one all over just the lower lid. 
see how it kind of depending on what you wear it either looks more gray mauve or it looks more purple mauve like lavender mauve um, but anyways um, awesome what colors are you getting I'm gonna be showing off I think it's called let me see what color I'm gonna show off today there's so many prints. I'm gonna show you all them all, but I'm gonna be wearing Jenna. Jenna's the shade I'm gonna be wearing today. I think it's gonna be my personal favorite hottie gloss. Brandon, we do not need any background noise over here. Can you chill? I actually am gonna wear this. I was thinking about wearing it on my lips and throwing Jenna over it. I don't know. If you want a really matte look, you just put this on your lips. Eyes, it just comes together. Hey, Judy. Hey, Starla. Hey, Lauren. Hey, Haley. Thank you for sharing. Don't forget, y'all, tell me if you shared. I love meeting y'all's friends, and the only way I can do that is if you share me. Share me. Brandon. All right. Isn't that pretty? It's just a perfect mauve. It's called Unfazed. Duh. So the reason these lippies are named after girls is because there was like a competition or something last fall. I don't even remember it. I think it was like whoever, I don't know what it was, but I don't remember. But it was like the top five winners of it and they got their name on a product and I just knew they were gonna be named hotties because clearly you name hotties females. Ooh, that feels good. Hey, my man. Hey, Brandy. Thank you, Judy, for sharing. All right, so if you're just jumping on, draw and you're um, not a presenter. If you're a presenter, drop me a purple heart. Y'all know what purple hearts stand for, but if you're not and you're not on my VIP page, comment um i want in because tomorrow i'm actually going to be showing all of the hotties on my lips in there today i'm just going to show you the one i'm wearing hey melissa hey allison sold the most anniversary palette okay i don't know but these are girls that have like 85 billion kajillion followers so Anyway, okay, so look at that. Isn't that freaking amazing? I freaking love this color, like hands down. Love it, love it, love it. I knew I was gonna love it. Let me tell you something about these matte cream shadows though. They dry to a very power finish. They're very water resistant. So like my mom, if she hops on, she'll tell you. She wears them all the time because she has um, allergies eye, one eye that waters. And so this is, they don't move on her. Look at all my purple hearts. Love y'all. Hey, Dorothy. Hey, Courtney. Colb, man. You want to say hi to Colby? He's peeping. Colb. Colby. Colby. Hey, Jennifer. <clears throat> hey, Jody. Look at all my purple heart peeps. Sprinkled. Starla, what are you sprinkling? Sprinkling with sugar and glitter. I bought some glitter from Target the other day. It's about as far as my legs could walk was to the glitter section and back. And I thought I was going to faint. But okay. So once again, I need this brush. So let me show you all the Magic Brush Cleaner again. Y'all, I know some of y'all got on my pre-order list for it. Had a lot of people snag it. But if you haven't and you need it, just comment cleaner. It literally takes one squirt and it cleans. One squirt and it cleans. Tell Brandon I said, what up, dog? Look at that. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. So I don't wear this guy and he doesn't get enough love, but this is called Charming. It's a mint green. So I have like a mint green like bandeau on because it opens in the back and I have mint green shorts on. So I figured just a dab of this on my lower lid to give a subtle minty glow works. And I haven't worn this in a while, so it's a little dry because it's a few years old. It's like two years old. Probably expired, but I don't care. Sprinkling your video instead of saying sharing. Oh! Oh, you're awesome <laughs> I love it I love being sprinkled so if you share it just tell me you sprinkled it okay so I'm just gonna push a little bit of this charming right there to give that mint green glow oh love it love it drop me some hearts I've never done this before but I was trying to match my outfit 
and I freaking love it. I love when something works out. Hands down, love that. Now everybody's gonna want all three of these colors, victorious, charming, and unfazed. I am obsessed. Oh my goodness, I love it. Spray it with a setting spray. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. Setting spray? I usually do rose water. Ordering brush cleaner on Messenger. Okay, cool, message me. Colby, want a facial good? <laughs> Colby, I need to do your makeup. Hey, Chana. Is the other, no, this is unfazed. This is what unfazed looks like on me. I need to try happy again and compare the two. This is unfazed. Unfazed, victorious, and charming. Brandon, look, we're matching. We never mean to, but come here. Look, he's wearing mint and gray. Yeah, I'm not, wearing, see it? I'm not wearing this because he's matching us. And too. he's matching us too. We're just the matchy matchy family. Right, we'll Do you want to tag Brandon in it? <laughs> Bye, Cole. Hey, girl. Hey, Chana. Hey, Ash. I actually do feel a little bit better as long as I stay on top of my Tylenol. Tylenol, that's all I can take. Bye, Jody. Love ya. Hey, Sarah. Okay. I'm super digging Charming over Unfazed. I freaking love that. Okay, so let's do some brows. Y'all saw how easy that was. Yesterday I wore a brow liner. Today we're gonna go into the palette, the brow palette. This is what I call the brunette palette. So this is, this happened at us. That's okay, it's kind of funny how that works, right? So how I do my brow palette. So you can see I've experimented with the, the wax because I'm not a true fan of the wax, but now I am. Hey, Melissa, hey, Curbs. So I'm gonna take the flat end of this brow artist brush. If you have a brow palette, you need a brow artist brush. And I just rub the flat end in the wax and then I'm gonna go right over my brows, okay? And kind of tame the brows, lay them down. You know, sometimes you get a little wild one that wants to hang out and stand out. This kind of helps keep it laid down. And what this also does is it allows me to use less product that's gonna go further. Is that goofy? Hey, Brittany. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Sarah. Thank you for sharing. A lot of y'all are sharing. I love it. Or you can say sprinkled. I like that too. Zach can only take ibuprofen. They gave him Narcos and it made him sick. Uh, yeah, they gave me some kind of payment that made me sick too. So I've been surviving on Tylenol. Not Tylenol 3. Tylenol. Okay. So I got to get up close and personal with y'all. So this is, I feel like I'm at work because if you're a hygienist, you sit very inappropriate. Any hygienists on here? Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, so you take the angled side and I'm gonna take this darker end, okay? And I'm gonna touch, I know it says number two. I'm really not sure why they're, not, why they're numbered that way, but like I said, this is makeup. You can do whatever you want with it. But I'm gonna take the darker end and I'm just gonna draw a line, okay, on the bottom. Not underneath the hairline, but strictly right on the hairline because you do not want to make your brows look thick, too thick, okay? And one little line goes right underneath, right? Then I'm gonna do the same thing right on the top. Remember, on the hairline, not above. It's hot. It's hot. Is it hot or do you say soft? <laughs> no, no. Corbin's like having full-fledged conversations with us these days. And then I just kind of push it in and fill it in, okay? And I try to leave this part up here a little bit lighter. Kind of just ombre it in. Oh, Have to concentrate, guys. Was told Facebook didn't didn't like the word shared, so I changed mine. Oh, nice. Hey, Laura. Hey, Jennifer. Okay, so I'm gonna tell everybody if you click this word down here, tell drop me a glitter emoji, and then tell me you sprinkled love, sprinkled me all over the world. I always keep telling Brandon. It's really funny because I told him. I know this sounds crazy, but I told him like if something ever happens to me, I want to be cremated. I want people to take me on their next trip and sprinkle me all over the world. So that works perfect. I like that. 
analogy. I love to travel, so. Hey, Marissa. Hey, Britt. Hey, Elisa. If you're just jumping on in your wise sister, drop me a purple heart. If not, you can drop me any color you kind of heart you want or any your favorite emoji. I love emojis. And I like seeing people's favorite emojis because it kind of tells a lot about you. Emojis do. Like, do you laugh a lot? Are you serious? Are you sarcastic? Are you funny? Okay. Brandon's making inappropriate remarks. I don't know how people just use their phone camera to get ready without looking like crazy. Look at all the emojis! Hey, Nick. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Jennifer. <coughs> hey, Kelly. I think the most emoji I use is a kissy face because I'm always sending love. And then it's the sideways laughing face because I love to laugh. Like hands down, the world's best medicine. And I just apparently think I'm pretty funny sometimes. Brandon, I am funny. Brandon can't handle it that I'm funnier than him because he used to be the really funny one or so he thought. I think I just allowed him to think he was the funny one, but really I was the funny one. 98% sarcastic. Loretta, I knew I loved you. I always tell everybody sarcasm is my second language. English was my first, but really I'm better at sarcasm than I am at English, so... My husband's pretty sarcastic too, but he just can't take it when you dish it back. He's like, well, that was rude. Starla, you're so funny dropping all these emojis. The cowboy, you use the cowboy emoji? Okay, so this brow actually is usually my pain in the butt brow, but it, he did good today. I feel like I should give him a sticker. Look, you can use this brush too to like erase if you like, feel like you kind of get out of line. Did he just choke on me in back there? No? I thought Corbin choked a little bit. You can also take this lighter side with that flat end and kind of come in on your brow as well with it. You know, for that ombre look. Or you can use the lighter end as your brow color, depending on what matches your hair. Perfect. Brows on fleek. Somebody hashtag brows on fleek. Hey, Chelsea. Hey, Allie. Hey, Candy. Happy Saturday. Brandon starts shaking his head behind you. About what? Whenever I said he can't take it? <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes I feel like if we had a camera on us, guys. Oh, my gosh. Look, I didn't even have to squirt, and I was able to clean the, the brush. It still had some of the cleaner on it. How awesome is that? Okay, anyway, enough about that. Brandon, he's got this like dirty mind. Okay, so let's get some brows, cause, I mean not brows, some lashes, cause right now I really can't take myself serious with no lashes. I'm still digging this combo, this trio right here. Ugh, so pretty. Okay, hey Marilyn, reality show. Oh Lord. I don't know if y'all would wanna see that or not. No. Hey, Kimberly. Okay, so I use 3D Plus, y'all. Why? Because I need all the length I can get. There's not enough lash serum in the world to grow me the lashes that I want, so I forever will use this mascara. If they were to ever get rid of it, I would hoard it and buy enough to last me a lifetime. So you just apply this gel like normal mascara. You know, everybody knows how to apply mascara, right? And then you apply your fibers just to the tips. Okay. That way you're not trying to push any kind of fibers into your eyeball. You're just 
letting the tip of your lashes snag a couple and we're gonna build them. They're gonna grow. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I actually really like this combo too. It's the first time I've worn it together, but I just wanted, it really makes the mint green pop because by itself it's a very subtle color when you wear it just on your eyelid alone. So the fact that you can like see it and it gives that halo look, really pretty. And I may actually wear Unfazed on my lips today with Jenna over it. I don't know how to apply mascara. You don't know how to apply mascara? So you just go to the base of your eye and you kind of zigzag it up, your lashes. Not the fibers though. So right now I'm just using the fibers. Are you all done, Corb? Y'all done? On the tips. So it's grabbing the lashes and you're gonna see my lashes completely transform. Hey, Jossie. All right, and this is like hands down my most important part of my face because most days I just wear big lashes and bold lips. But when you do the gel to seal it in, it combs out the fibers and there grabs your length, okay? I thought he said he wanted out. So Corbin still sits in a high chair because he likes to be able to watch. Your hottie should be in Monday. All right. Hey, Stacy. So I'm going to do as many coats of these gel fiber gels as I want until I get the lashes I want. And the beautiful thing is you'll get fake looking lashes without the heaviness, no gel, I mean, no glue. They don't weigh your eyes. They don't, and it actually treats your natural lashes. I mean, it just really nourishes them, the gel. So we're just gonna keep growing lashes while y'all hang out with me. Hottie is the bomb. I think I said already that I'm not a huge lip plumper fan, but I actually like the colored ones because they don't tingle as much and they work and they're not extreme. So even people with full lips can use them because I have pretty full lips, but they give color and they last a long time. Um, I don't know if any of y'all were, were tanners back in the day, but I worked at a tan salon in college and I wouldn't, I hated the tingle lotion. Like, I don't want anything tingling on me. Hey, Catherine. Hey, Charlie. But I love, I'm grow, learning to love these lip plumpers. And I have some customers that are obsessed. Like, they buy multiple so they never run out because they're limited edition. They're not a permanent product. All right. Oh, he's gonna one up. What did I drop? Oh, my pet, my sponge. You wanna come give it to Mama? Hey, Kimberly. Okay, so y'all are watching these grow, so I'm gonna come back over here. And the reason I alternate eyes, thank you, baby. The reason I alternate eyes is because I want the fibers to have enough time to adhere to the gel, right? And you can do like up to nine coats of this before it starts to look too extreme. But they don't look clumpy. I get compliments on my lashes religiously. As a hygienist, people stay like stare at my eyes. So I make it a point to usually try to have pretty decent lashes because that's all they have to look at sometimes. So, I mean, you can see there's like no clumpiness. I have a small flat lip, so Hottie plumps them up. Good. Yeah, I know like my girls with thinner lips are obsessed with it, but even my girls with full lips love it. What are you saying? You can take Mo out? Okay. Outside, Momo. Look at those lashes. I mean, you can't even. Sometimes I only need a couple coats of this and it gives me what I need, but when they're going through the phase of growing out, they I need like a few coats. But there's no, it's all application, guys. That's why I try to explain how I'm applying it because people butcher this mascara left and right and then they're like, oh, I don't like it. Well, it's probably because of user error and that's not being said meanly. That's just truth, because even I butchered it the first time I used it. And I kind of gave up on it for a year, 
and then finally I bought it again and somebody walked me through it and I was like oh well that was my fault okay so y'all see those lashes I grew hey Melissa hey Allison happy Saturday hey Paula hey Dallas Okay, let me seal it in. I'm not gonna do any more fibers because I've kind of gotten the length I really, really want. So let me just come back in. So this is like a top coat for like if you get your nails done, you know they do a base, the color, and then top. Same with this, gel fiber gel. And I love it, love it, love it. Now I will say once this is done, you cannot touch your eyeballs. You don't wanna break the seal. You don't wanna mess up your fibers, but look at that and they don't weigh 500 pounds. Thank you, God. Y'all, this last time, and I love extensions. I was addicted to them for a long time. They destroyed my lashes, they were expensive, but they were gorgeous. This last time I got them, because I was like going to back-to-back -back tropical trips, I was in weddings, it was like last fall. I knew what I was getting myself into, but man, they were so heavy. I would be talking to people, and all of a sudden I'd be like, why not add a few more coats? Girl, I'm already on like three or four coats. But I'm gonna use Epic, that's why. So, I like to come in with Epic. It's just a regular mascara, so if you already are blessed with great lashes, this is a good one because it gives length, curl, and volume. But I do it over the fibers as my final coat for that volume push. And it just final, like it seals everything in as well. I did a video showing how many times you had, how many coats of Epic and how many coats of 3D until you got clumpy lashes. Because clumpy lashes are in for 2018. Did anybody know that? That's a trend right now. I'm not all for that, but I was just kind of curious how many coats of mascara it takes to get clumpy lashes with these two awesome mascaras. And it was nine coats. But I bet I could do nine coats right now with my lashes being smaller and it wouldn't be as clumpy. When I did the test, my lashes were in a pretty long stage. But, I mean, I'm sorry. Y'all dropped me some hearts for those lashes. Like, lashes, oh my gosh. Like, hands down, my jam. Without feeling like something's on my eyeballs. I'd never wear upper liner because I want my lashes to do the talking. But these are, this duo, Think the reason, this duo is stays 10% off because of a reason. It's like a power duo. I mean hands down like look at that y'all saw me I had nothing hey Ashley hey Jocelyn hey Lisa hey Carrie thank you for sharing don't forget to tell me if y'all sprinkled me somewhere else Mama. oh you wanna you, you gotta say hi and then you gotta get down okay you want mama okay look no. they're watching you no dada okay you can have dada go with dada okay into the no Mickey Mouse. Okay. All right, guys. So face and eyes are done. I didn't even have any fallout. My face makeup still looks phenomenal. Reason I do my face first is because I feel like my eyeshadow, my eyes will never look the same. And then if I'm trying to go around them really carefully with makeup and not mess them up or, you know what I mean? I chance, I'm pretty messy, so I chance messing my brows up and it just creates extra work, right? And I'm not trying to do that, okay? So if I'm not live, it takes me like not even 20 minutes to do a full face. But when I hang out with y'all, I like to talk to y'all. Hey, Brandy. Hey, Lucy. Hey, Ash. Happy Saturday. Thank you. Okay, so now we're just gonna do blush. I'm not gonna do any bronzer today. I thought about it, but you know what? I'm gonna rock my full cheeks, but I'm gonna come in with my favorite blush. It's called Serene. It's a blush and a, an illuminizer had a baby. And so you get that color. You've got to have color on your face. You don't want to be all one color. You don't want your, your foundation is here to, con, you know, found a, give you a base, smooth everything out. It's not here to give you your tan. So that's where bronzer, blush, just come in, eyeshadows. But you see that glow? Mm. When they get rid of this, I'm going to cry, actually. But I found a way to make it work with a regular blush and illuminizer. You just dab them together and apply it. It looks just the same. But when you're, it's available and it's more convenient all in one. And this is called Serene. 
I am not, I'm breathing a little bit better. I'm not 100. Apparently it takes a solid six months to possibly get to 100%. It takes about the first two weeks you get about 80% better. Um, but I'm still healing. Like I still have to do my rinses and get stuff out of there that's healing. And you know, since they touch the bone, the bone takes a while. So I just can't get over these lashes. I'm going to go ahead and sit right here. Facebook likes to screenshot stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and just, mm. <laughs> I love these. I'm actually obsessed with this eyeshadow trio. I'm really digging it. Okay, so let's do our lips. Okay, so I'm going to show you all the colors of Hottie on my hand so that y'all can just get to know the names. Um, so the first one up is called Keisha. And it's a like red color, okay? They apply like a gloss, they wear like a gloss, but they last a lot longer than a gloss. Um, also today, I'm gonna be wearing this one and Jenna. It is like a true like purpley mauve. Great color. I thought about wearing it by itself, but I'm actually going to probably wear it over this eyeshadow unfazed. Um, yesterday I wore Renee. When it came in, I had to try one. Okay. Renee is like a sparkly like Barbie pink. It's just like a subtle sparkly Barbie pink. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, imagine that over any color, okay? Hey, Shaylin. Remember, if you're not a presenter and you're not in my VIP blog, comment below, I want in, because tomorrow I'm gonna be showing these on the lips. This is called Holly Megan, so that other one was Renee Rochelle. Holly Megan is more of, I know this is gonna be one of my personal favorites, because I like dark lips. It's more of like a maroon blonde, but see that iridescent hue to it? Ooh, I love it, I'm so excited. I just am excited because they wear really well. I'm missing one. Oh, here it is. And this last one is Chandel. So the most common that I've seen, actually I've seen, everybody's bought every color. It's just a personal preference. If you like red, mauve, if you just want that light baby doll pink, if you want clear, there's a clear. It's called hot, the original hottie. Or if you want that like maroony color. And then this is a nude like brown called Chandel. And it's literally like a nudish brown color so there's something for everybody they're very pretty colors you can actually get a set of five by themselves discounted um, or you know one with a cream shadow and an epic really really discounted or you can get a set of five and mix and match them you can get like all of one color you can get one of every color you can get two of one color three of another so you can like mix and match the five okay and don't mind this gray is the eyeshadow I was just trying to see what color it would look like but anyway okay so I'm gonna actually line my lips and then see how I nude them out with my makeup it's because I like to have true color on my lips okay and god I love when my makeup looks good I just want to like stare at it it makes you feel like a million bucks when you throw makeup on like it just gives you life so this is my favorite lip liner as you can tell look how tiny it is Called plush. I literally wear it with anything. Okay, so I like to line my lips. I'm gonna be wearing a lip pumper, so I don't need to overline too much. And people have to be careful when they line their lips. Some people overline way too much, and it just looks like a clown. But you want to draw right on the line of your lips a little above otherwise you shrink your you don't you're doing yourself a disservice okay then I'm gonna come in with that cream shadow I'm wearing on my lips because I really like it on my lips it's a very matte finish very weightless so if you like matte colors cream shadows are legit on your lips okay you can wear any color it gives a very gray here. I'm actually gonna wear it. Under one of the glosses though. So it's a really pretty color. I love it. Love it, love it. But it's very matte, like it's not gonna come off on anything. But we're gonna wear it under Jenna today. Okay? Hey Chandra, hey Sandy, hello, hey, uh, hey Alicia. 
Okay, so this is Jenna, and we're gonna wear it over this, but I freaking love this color on my lips. Okay. This is gonna bring in a purple hue. You can wear them by themselves and they're very pretty alone. But I just wanted to try this today. Like I said, if you're not on my blog, you wanna get in there because I'm actually gonna show them alone tomorrow. Okay, so that's Jenna over my concoction of lip colors. I stinking love it. Thank you, Chandra. I'm digging this eyeshadow color. I feel like certain colors just make people's looks and skin pop. And I feel like this one's working, but this is, so let me tell you about lip plumpers. If you've never worn one, they do have a little bit, they have peppermint oil in these. So there's gonna be a little bit of a cooling effect. There's some that are extreme. I cannot, ooh, don't get it on your tongue. I cannot do the ones that are so extreme that I'm like, oh my God, my lips are on fire. I cannot deal with that. These are so much more subtle, so much more subtle, so much more enjoyable. I had a customer yesterday tell me that she had to make sure she applied the right thing because it was so subtle and she loved it. So anyways, recap on what we did. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me on this Saturday, so let's talk. Recap, um, don't forget if you share it, tell me that you sprinkled it according to Starla Facebook doesn't like the word share which why not share the love but sprinkle my love everywhere and tell me you sprinkled me and then we did the two lash combo the 3d plus and the epic to grow these because y'all saw it was bold but this um eyeshadow trio you can get it as a trio you can get them single i did the cr charming cream shadows which is what's giving me that that greenish glow okay and then i did unfazed as on my lips and that grayish color. It's like a perfect mauve. I wear it by itself all the time and I wear it on my lips, you know. And then of course, Victorious that everybody needs is the base. I use the brow palette. I use my foundation and powder and a finishing powder. So nothing's moving, nothing's going anywhere, nothing's gonna transfer. I'm never gonna get sunburnt because I have SPF 25. And then y'all saw me do plush liner with Unfazed and then Jenna over it and I stinking love it so hope you have a great saturday don't forget to get in my blog so you can see all of these on my lips tomorrow and um if you have questions don't hesitate to ask them on here or message me i'm always i'm an open book but i'll see y'all later i hope you have a great weekend bye guys